Welcome down the rabbit hole. It's Katie here, and my life has been so crazy. I'm joining you from the bathroom floor. <laughs> it just turns out that December is always a crazy time for me. It's one of the only times that we get the opportunity to travel home back to the US, and there's a lot of work that goes into that. This is the first time in a long time we've been able to go, and there's just so much going on. There's so much work to be done. And then it also turns out like all of my favorite people were born in December <laughs> to include my daughter. And she needs to have a frog birthday party this year. And there's so much to do. I just can't even <laughs> start with all of that. Meanwhile, I've also been following the Casey Anthony case. The new documentary came out on Peacock and I just saw the second episode and I was completely enraged by the whole thing. That'll be in another video. I needed to take some time to cool down. And so I decided to go down my other favorite rabbit hole, Sister Wives, looking into what's been going on with Gwen Brown. If you don't remember, I think it was like a week ago or maybe two weeks ago now, um, that Gwen Brown's best friend, Sarah, posted a live on TikTok. In the live, Sarah and Gwen answer a bunch of questions about the Sister Wives family, and there were some crazy revelations that were made, like for example, that Janelle has pretty much already left Cody, but also just a lot of interesting stuff about Gwen and her opinions about things, and people really enjoyed it. Used to be Sarah, I meant not Sarah, used to be Aurora. Ooh, Aurora's nice too. Isabel's pretty chill. Oh, Gwen's the best brown. That's what they said. Uh, second best. After Christine. After Christine? So I wanted to check back in and see like what's been happening since that live, what's going on with Gwen, and there has been so much news to share. First and foremost, if you don't know, Gwen started a Patreon page. She started this page so that she can present her opinions, talk a little bit about sister wives, let people know about things going on with her, within her family and all of the relationship, but also get some financial kickback <laughs> from it, which I'm totally, I um, really support that. So at first I tried to get on her Patreon. You can go to patreon.com and I'll link it down below, Gwen Brown's Patreon. I went on and I um, signed up and I was able to look at it for like a short period of time. But then of course it like kicked back um, because I, my credit card being from Malaysia. So I am no longer on the Patreon, but I will definitely be getting back on it when I get back to the US. And from what I've heard, she's sharing a lot of interesting things on there. She does not want people who are using the Patreon to share all of her information. So you can't get that information without joining her Patreon page. Gwendolyn Brown from Sister Wives has created a Patreon where I am a patron and I watched her first video where she answered frequently asked questions detailing healthy, unhappy family relationships and really confirming that a lot of what's shown on the show is actually accurate. Of course, there's 17 seasons, so there's many things to cover there. But in light of recent events with her mother's divorce, Christine Brown from Cody Brown, it appears that a lot of what we're seeing is actually the real deal. And also it makes me think about how children will grow up, have their own opinions and perceptions, and it may be quite different from what the parents may have expected. But today I'm going to share some things that, as far as I know, were not on her Patreon. Again, I can't check it. If someone can check it, let me know. <laughs> but um, all of the things that I'm sharing today have been all over the Sister Wives like Facebook pages and groups that I belong to. And it's been quite interesting to see what's going on with Gwen. So let's head down this rabbit hole. So first, I'm sure many of you have already heard that Gwen announced she is engaged. If you're not aware, in the past, Gwen has come out as bisexual. And as far as we know, her family has been fairly supportive of that. In the past, they've said that they're supportive of same-sex marriages and a person's right to choose who they love. That's quite interesting considering that they're coming from this fundamentalist religion, but I'm glad to hear that. I hope that's true in real life um, and not something that they kind of argue about behind the scenes. 
So here's some information about when Gwen came out. Okay, so this past fall, Cody and Christine Brown's daughter Gwen opened up about her sexuality on the latest episode of Sister Wives. The 21-year-old publicly revealed that she's bisexual in season 17 episode entitled Telling Truly, but her family seems to have known for quite some time. In one scene, Gwen actually jokes around with her sister Isabel, who's preparing to move to college. You're not very nice, Isabel tells her sister, and Gwen replies, want to know what else isn't very nice? Isabel play playfully says, you. I'm being bullied, Gwen jokingly announces. It's Pride Month. You can't talk to me like that. In a confessional, Gwendolyn discusses her sexual orientation. I'm bisexual. I'm not only attracted to women, I'm also attracted to men and people that fall into other gender spectrums, she explains. In her interview, Christine admitted that she had an inkling about her daughter's sexual identity before Gwen told her. Christine recalled when Leon, Cody and Mary's child, revealed that they were part of the LGBTQ community, as seen in season two. Um, if, you, if you're not aware, Leon has come out. Leon has come out as transgender and used to be known as Mariah. Immediately I thought, oh, so is Gwendolyn. I knew immediately. And we've just had some great conversations about it, Christine says. The mother of six went on to describe the discussions she and Gwen have had on the topic. So Christine came off as like very accepting and supportive. She teases me about having celebrity crushes on women and suggests that I'm also partially gay, says Christine. <laughs> The 50-year-old says she does admire celebrities like Blake Lively, Kelly Clarkson, and Emily Blunt. They're just beautiful. I can't help but, in, but admire them. But it would only go so far. I'm definitely heterosexual. Okay, so that happened this past fall. And since then, Gwen has been sharing updates on her love life via Instagram. And she said that she recently celebrated her six-month anniversary with a woman named Beatrice. Okay, so one crazy thing that I've been reading about online is that Gwendolyn has said that Robin Brown wanted her to save her coming out as bisexual for quote unquote the cameras. Allegedly, um, Gwen says that when she came out as bisexual to her family, Robin expressed disappointment that the 18 year old didn't quote unquote save it for the cameras. <laughs> What a jerk. So Gwen said that she came out on her 18th birthday, and they really only started talking about it this season. She's 21 now. So many Sister Wives fans are saying that they're shocked that Robin would act that way because they said in the past she was so supportive of Mary Brown's child, Leon Brown, formerly known as Mariah, before they came out as transgender when they first came out as gay. Now Sister Wives fans think that maybe that was just an act for the cameras. I've been saying that for a long time. I really wonder about Robin and this whole act that she puts on that she's very accepting and supportive of the other kids and, you know, whatever kind of unique choices they make in their lives because it really seems to me that she's quite controlling of her own children and that she wants them to act in certain ways. Okay, so we know that Cody on the show admitted that he wants to adhere to, to traditional values because of their religious beliefs. So he wasn't initially on board with his children coming out, but he eventually realized it was an act of bravery. It takes guts to step out and say this is what you're feeling. And because of this, Cody said that he accepted Leon's coming out. But Mary struggled with her child's sexual preferences at first. Robin seemed to accept Leon with open arms immediately so she could get that ching-ching from the Sister Wives show. Leon even said that Robin helped them the quote-unquote the most to learn to accept themselves. She's like, as long as it isn't my child that comes out as gay or transsexual or doesn't wear like the most perfect outfit and act perfect on the show, as long as my child <laughs> doesn't have to be singled out for being different, then I'll support whatever. I just want the ching ching. Okay, so then super recently when I think she posted on her Instagram and it may have been on Patreon as well, but I found this in a Sister Wives group. Gwen posted pictures of her engagement to her girlfriend, Beatrice, 
And she also posted some pictures of the rings, which are incredible. I've never seen rings like this. And I am so jealous. They're absolutely beautiful and I love them. The one other thing I wanted to share with you that I've seen reported a lot is that allegedly on Gwen's Patreon, a member asked her some questions about her family, like, do you realize that they're in a cult? And she said, yeah, a lot of the children do. So this was really interesting. They used the term cult, and I was surprised to hear Gwen take it that far. It makes me wonder what Christine is thinking and feeling right now if she feels the same way. Okay, so that's all super interesting about Gwen. There's probably a lot more that you could find out by checking out her Patreon. Of course, I will link the Patreon below. But now I wanted to talk a little bit about Sarah, the best friend Gwen grew up with, who posted that TikTok that basically went viral. Sarah's TikTok page blew up because everybody realized that she was friends with Gwen Brown and all these Sister Wives fans started running to her page to find out more, asking her a million questions. Apparently at some point, Sarah got banned from going live on TikTok is my understanding because the page was so overwhelmed by all of these Sister Wives fans and she had to like appeal to TikTok to let her run her page again. And she made some additional TikToks about her relationship with Gwen and her response to all of the attention she was getting from having Gwen on her video. So I'm going to share that with you now. Okay, let me address a couple things, okay? I just got out of the shower, don't mind me. First off, um, for all of you wanting to know, no. I am not Gwen's girlfriend. I don't know how many of you are compliments me. You guys are such a cute couple. I am happily straight. And Gwen is just my best friend. You can search Beatrice. Beatrice is Gwen's friend. And that being said, not all black people look alike. Because me and Beatrice don't look alike at all. Okay? Got it? You have the wrong person. Okay? And then, secondly, um, for all of you wanting to know about Daniel, I'm not sharing his info on where you could find him. Okay? Because I'm not that kind of person to go out and publicly humiliate someone. It's not me. So, if you figure out who Daniel is yourself, good for you, but you're not getting it from me. Okay? Now, that that's out of the way, you can go blow up Beatrice's phone, you can leave me out of it, and we can all move on with our happy lives. Got it? Good. So I uh, did get my live back. I appealed or whatever you do on TikTok, but um, let's just say this has gone too far. I have been best friends with Gwen since junior year of high school and not once did I think everything would just blow up like this my phone has been going off non-stop and I even got a famous magazine asking me on uh, DMing me on Instagram for my email so they could ask me some questions like they want to interview me to post about this stuff all we are are friends I've never seen an episode of the TV show I don't plan to, and I don't get what the big deal is. Yes, I've met a bunch of the kids from all mothers, and yes, I've met a couple of the mothers, not all of them, but like, it doesn't even matter. At the end of the day, we're all just human beings trying to live a normal life. Could you all just accept that for a sec? That's we just all want to be treated like regular humans and don't want our phones blowing up all the time because it's greatly appreciated. I just like, this is insane. I wanted to share one more thing with you guys that I thought was really interesting. So basically, there's another well-known TikToker who tagged Peyton Brown, who's also very popular on TikTok, and told him like, when is going to far surpass you, dude? Like, check out what she's doing she has this amazing patreon 
and the video was all about like how great Gwen's Patreon page is and how she's making apparently a good amount of money from it. And she said, hey, Peyton, like you better step up your game. <laughs> and Peyton actually responded to her on TikTok and you can see his response here. He's basically like, how do I get in on this? Help me make my own page. <laughs> so um, that was kind of funny. Additionally, the other thing you need to know about Peyton is that he recently helped Janelle set up her social media account on TikTok. And you can see him in the video with her now. Hi, everyone. This is actually Janelle, who is now actually on yes, TikTok. Yes, don't fall for the imposters. There is no post on my account. Gosh, Peyton. <laughs> okay. They're all the same mom at this yeah. point. So, like, it's not, I don't have any posts there, but it's Janelle Brown 117. That really is me. It That's is me. legitimately her. Yep. Janelle Brown 117. I will Peyton tag her in this. Peyton is following me. And so I wanted to say, because I've had some people get on and be like, act like they're me. I yeah, no, I, yeah, it's, it's weird. So, I, anyway. I've now convinced two. It's a whole new frontier. We'll see. I'm working on, I'm working on adapting. But. I'm very happy to, I'm very happy to help you with that. Okay. All right. Adios. I've really come to love Gwen. She's such a sweet hidden gem in the family. I love that she's starting this new Patreon so we can chat with her about Sister Wives. And when things are hard in my life, like having to watch terrible documentaries from the awful Casey Anthony, I can always go back to Sister Wives and check in on some of the kids and know that there are good people under 30 out there. <laughs> So I hope you guys have a great night and I hope you'll check back with me soon. I'm going to have a video coming out shortly about all about Janelle. I hope you have a good night and take a little time to head down your own rabbit hole.